Hi guys, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. So, today is a little bit of a trial. I came across a video of um, an Italian girl doing a, a, a hat by using a technique that I never really seen before and never really thought about it. Now, the, the video in itself wasn't too clear in in the way of row counts or things like that but i think i got the gist of it so i want to try it um and do it one myself and haven't tried this before so we are gonna do it together and see what 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 happens so what we're gonna do is make a hat with this pattern the pattern will repeat 10 times for a total of i would say 90 rows yeah 90 rows um and let's just go with it what you will need obviously is your machine i'm using the rd46 this time you can use the 48 it's fine um i'm gonna use dk yarn i'm gonna use this gray one for the pattern and being a hat we'll do a double layer so this should be the the white one i will use for the inside layer Again, I'm not too sure about the row count, so I don't know if it's going to turn out to be too small or too big, but um, I guess with whatever comes out, we will see if the row count is correct or if we need to decrease or increase, but we, we'll see. You will need a crochet hook for this. Um, and yeah, let's, let's get started. So, let's... Start the ball. And we will start with a cinch cast on. Um, now, if you don't know how to do a cinch cast, I will go slowly, but if you really are completely new with this, I have videos in the, in my channel that will show you exactly what needs to be done. But basically, you start with your peg number one, you loop your yarn around it underneath the hook, and then you alternate going back and, for and forward every needle. Front and back, front and back. Front and back. Until you get to the very end. Remember, you need to always finish at the back of your last. And what I like to check is also the inside pattern so obviously you will have the the yarn going across over a needle so i just like to make a quick check to make sure that everything is even and now is the moment that you want to reset your counter because you know the um, cast on is not part of your row count and we start crocheting, uh, crocheting, we start knitting 10 rows. I'm going back because I noticed that it split the yarn. This is something new. I never had this problem with this machine. I don't know why it's doing this. 
most likely is the yarn itself. So as you know, the Andy does not come with um, tensioner. It's easy enough to learn how to regulate your tension by hand. I just personally prefer to use um, one of these. I got this on Etsy. So you just slide it in and use that as a tensioner so I don't have to really worry about um I am holding the yarn. I will hold it just to make sure I don't come across any knots, but at least that should allow me um, to have an even tension all along. Okay, so I'm at the end of my 10th row, and what we do now is this, we're going to pick up, so starting from your first needle, you're going to pick up your 6th stitch, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and you're going to bring it back on on your first peg underneath the hook then you allow it to knit two and once again you grab your six that's one two eight four five six In it too. Then in it too. Now, for what I've seen, uh, considering also the end result, if you're not super precise that you're not catching the sixth stitch down and maybe it's the fifth or maybe it's the seventh, it should be the same. I mean, it, sh it shouldn't impact too much um, the end result. I mean, you will see the end result on the thumbnail of this video, but let's see. Thank you. 
Another thing that you want to have handy is either a roll counter like this or a piece of paper with a pen just to count how many times we've done the um, um the pattern. So once I'm, I'm getting to the end of this round, I'm going to click one. Okay, so I finished the round. And I'm going to put my counter to one. So this is the first time we've picked up these stitches. We need to do this another eight times, if I remember correctly. And we now need to do another nine rows. So we st we started with ten rows, okay? The eleventh row is the row that we are picking up the stitches. And now we need to do another nine rows of normal knit. Okay, so we are finished row number 20. Now we start one row of pattern. But in this, this time round, instead of starting from the first needle, we start from the second. And once again, we pick up the sixth stitch. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Pick it up and put it on your needle and then knit two 
And again, if you're not super precise, it's not number six, it's number five or seven, it's the same. Well, it's the same. It shouldn't um, affect the look of the end result. So you pick up a stitch and then you knit two. And the good thing of this pattern is that it's easy enough then to see where are you. So you're not really getting lost in the sense that you don't remember if you knitted already the two needles or, or what you've done. Because here's the stitch that I picked up. So I knit it two and I need to pick up this one. I haven't seen done anybody doing this um, within the, let's call it English community, uh, in any English video. So if anybody actually did this um, prior, apologies for not giving you credit. I just come across this Italian video because I mean, I, I mean, if you didn't know, I'm Italian, um, and I was looking to see how much material there is out there for uh, Italian speakers. Um, not much, I can tell you this. Um, but again, I came across this one that I thought to be actually quite interesting. Okay, we are at the end of the row. So you're always finishing at your last needle, despite um, the, the pattern, obviously. And now I'm gonna count. So this is the second time we've did the pattern. Once again, we now knit another nine rows. Thank you. 
Okay, so we are now at our 30th um, row. So I'm going to finish this one. And once again, we are going to... Um, so we started with our first peg and our first row of pattern let's call it like this on the second row we went on our second peg this is the third row of pattern so we're going to go on our third peg and we're going to pick up our sixth stitch make sure that is underneath the hook because it needs to knit Hmm. Okay, so here, for example, I made a mistake. And the reason why I realized that I made a mistake is that when I picked up my stitch here, is right at the same um, spot of my second row. So I look back. And at some point, instead of picking up the stitch and knitting two, I picked up the stitch and knit one. So how do we gonna are we gonna fix this? Um we're gonna knit. I'm I'm gonna knit three to try and fix that. And then we we shall see how it's gonna look at the end. So this is one, two, three. But guys, again, the pattern is you pick up one stitch and you knit two. So if you're doing it correctly and you did not make any mistakes like I did, keep going. I made a mistake, so I'm trying to um get back and get back into the right pattern. Not sure how it's gonna turn out, but we shall see. Thank you. 
Okay, I finished my row pattern. As I said, there is that mistake in, in the middle of it. So we will see at the end. I was gonna look. But nonetheless, this is our third row pattern done. And we're now gonna crank additional nine rows. So you're gonna end up at number row number 40. Okay, this is number row number 40 finished. So we need to start our new row of pattern. Mm -hmm. Now, when I said at the beginning that that video that I saw wasn't explained in too much detail, it means that, for example, at this point, mm -hmm. the girl didn't explain if she kept um, starting the, uh, the pattern from on the, on the fourth pin and then on the fifth pin and, and so on or if she then started back onto the first so from now i'm gonna do it what i think it's right so we're gonna start our pattern back from the first and then just use as a reference our three black pins so uh number one two and three so recap you start the project by cranking 10 rows. On your 11th row, you start your pattern by picking up the 6th stitch down and putting it back up on your first pin. And then you knit 2. You pick up your 6th stitch and it goes back onto your 4th pin. And then you knit 2. And so on. Once you finish that round, you have finished round number 11, you crank another 9 rows. Then you start your 21st row of pattern, this time starting the pattern at your second pin. You do one round of pattern, then you crank another 9 rows. That brings you to number 30. Row 31 is the row of pattern that you're going to start on peg number 3. You finish, you crank another 9 rows, ending up at row number 40. So number 41 will be another row of pattern. And this time we are going to go back to peg number 1. So. I would advise you to repeat this by using the first three pegs and having uh what did she say nine times repeat nine times repeat so once you have done your 
pattern nine times, that's your layer of pattern finished. Okay, so I'll keep going on. You can skip ahead. Um, I might just uh, speed up the rest of the video until we finish at least the, the pattern side of things. Um, and take it from there. As I said, I did not try this before, so <laughs> this is an experiment I'm doing with you guys. Okay? So we are now at number 40. We are going to start our pattern again from peg number one. Okay, we are at our last uh, pattern. So I am finishing my um, last row pattern on peg number three i'm sure i made some mistakes along the line but um again as i said it's a it's a test drive that i just wanted to do with you guys so let's see i think it's nice and, and fun even to just um i don't know just just try things and see what happens
Okay. Um, just deciding, shall I already change into my other color? No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to knit the, the last nine rows with the main color and then I'm going to change. Okay, so with this, we have knitted a hundred rows with your main color and the pattern. Now is where my doubt lies because the video that I saw did not mention how many rows um, she did to cover for the inner portion. And without me testing this out first i am not too sure how much length we have um reduced this to by picking the stitches so we are gonna just gamble it and Let's say we are going to do 60 rows of the inner portion, I think. Let me just check one thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, decision, decisions. Um, okay, I'll start doing 50 rows and then see what happens from there. I have a feeling it's going to be a very slouchy hat, but we shall see. And then we can make our final conclusions at the end Okay, guys, I shall see you in 50 rows.
Okay, I have finished my 50th, 50th row. Um, not sure if I need to throw in another 10 for good measure. Because this pattern, you don't want to stretch it. I mean, not that you can't stretch it too much. Um, let's do another 10 rows and then we cast off. Okay, and we are done. All right, let's see what happens. It's almost like opening a, a parcel that you don't know what's what's in it. Um So, cast off. Again, I have a video for it. But just to make it easy, once you arrive at the end of your row, you're going to knit the last needle, cut your yarn, thread it through a, a darning needle, and then slowly you, you keep cranking without your working yarn. Releasing these stitches here. I like to do a couple at the time on the um, On the right side of the yarn feeder Just because it's easier to keep under control and not lose or drop any stitches But you do you you do whatever you're used to do Each to their own So yeah, there's not uh, much material in Italian language. Um, so for that reason, I decided to start doing some videos in Italian myself. I know that uh, there is the opportunity to have like the subtitles in your language, but unless you upload them yourself, usually the ones that have been provided by YouTube might be not extremely reliable because the tool might not understand your your words so and I'm not too sure that my videos are actually being translated into Italian to be honest and I am not really a believer of uh, subtitles when you're looking at tutorials because either you're looking at what people are actually doing or you're looking at the subtitles and reading them so um yeah i thought i will give that a go so on my channel you will have both languages i will try to make thumbnails different so it, they are easy, easy easily recognizable but nonetheless if you're interested in something that i'm doing in italian I will still try to put on video instructions that are uh, that you guys can follow. Although I don't see me making one video for one language, I'm not for the other. So I guess it's just a matter of timing.
So this hat, this pattern can be done on any machine. So even the 46 um, central or the 40 if you want to do it for a, a child. Whichever floats your boat. Okay. We can get rid of this machine for now. Uh, let's see what we have. I mean, I think it's fun. As I said, I'm not sure if somebody else has done anything like that. And if so, apologies if I'm not giving you credit. I just did not come across uh, any other video. So, yeah, I think it's doable. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I mean, it's quite a forgiving pattern because I can't really see where I messed up. I mean, I'm sure if I take my time, I, I probably will find it. But again, um, all in all, it, it doesn't look like too shabby. And you can pretty much do whatever you like. You can test out, uh, for example, by... Um, either doing less number of pattern rows or and that will allow you a little bit of a brim so let, let's see how this looks all together first I must say, I don't particularly like the quality of the yarn. I don't know why. I mean, it's a, it's a King Cole Baby Pure DK. I like the color, but it, I've worked with better yarns. But it's okay. We'll make it work. And I must say, it's been... A really, really long time since I made a hat, so that was fun. I'm just securing the tails. Okay, so considerations let's see so 
so first of all let's see how long this came out to be so top to bottom it's roughly 10 and a half inches that is roughly 28 centimeters Let me just check one thing. So I think it's a reasonable size. What do you think? I think they're all counted fine. You would not want to do any more than what we did. I would though probably use the 48 Centro for this. For an adult size. I mean. Just seems a little bit. Smallish. But maybe for a teenager or a, or a woman with a small head. It's not like me. I have a big head. Um. But yeah, I think it's fun. I think it's good. What do you think, guys? I mean, at least it's something different. It's a little bit textured. Probably you, see, you would see it more if you if I had chosen chosen um a one color uh yarn rather than a a variegated one. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I might try another one and see what happens. But um yeah, so definitely it's a forgiving um pattern. There is not much um how can I say this? So when we were picking up, I told you to pick up the sixth uh bar down, the sixth stitch down from your needle, but I'm sure that at some point I picked the 5th and I picked the 7th and it doesn't really affect the pattern too much, if any. Um, again, I cannot really find the part where I messed up and I knitted 1 and then at some point I had to knit 3 to try and get back to the pattern. Um, maybe here? I don't know. So again, it, it's a forgiving one, but it's it's a fun one. So you can test it out. See, maybe you wanna do I don't know every three stitches you pick it up, pick it up, and um, make it even more bunched up. Um. So yeah, maybe a, a pom pom on the top. So to recap, it's um a pattern repeat we did it nine times and it's every tenth row is a pattern and it, it's um how you call it oh can't think of the word in english so you start with the first needle on your first round of pattern then the second round is the second needle and then the third round is the third needle and then back to the first. Um, but yeah, I mean, just play with it, guys. As I said, I mean, this is just a, a trial run with little to um, with little instruction that I had on on the video that I watched. But it's um, yeah, it was fun. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Um, I would be happy to see what your thoughts are um thank you for making it this far again if you haven't subscribed yet i would really appreciate if you do if you did so um and i shall see you soon on our next adventure and for now i wish you all a wonderful day ahead and bye